What's up guys, it's Will from EDM Tips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a big room house track in the style of Avicii and other big room artists. I'm gonna be using Ableton Live 10, but you can follow along in any door because the techniques do apply. I'm also gonna be using the Unison Chord MIDI Pack, the guys who sponsored this video and sent it over for me to try. If you want this project file and all the samples, you can download it free below this video and you can grab the Unison Chord MIDI Pack 60% off using the special link below. We will be starting the idea with a chord progression. Yes, absolutely yes. Then we will create the kick and the bass. Bit of side chain compression on the bass. And the drums, the vocals, a bit of arrangement and lots more. If you dig this video, smash like, subscribe to the channel for tutorials like this each and every week. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, so big room house in Avicii kind of style. And today I'm gonna to be using the Unison Chord MIDI Pack to start out with the inspiration with a chord progression and then build it from that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select a tempo, 126 BPM sounds all right. Um, and I'm gonna call this Unison College Daughter. Unison College Daughter. That's done, you can't undo it. Right, let's get that chord progression. First, I'm gonna use just the analog from Ableton. I'm just using the stock plugins today. And then all I'm gonna do is open up the Unison Chord MIDI pack and then have a listen to some of their wicked progressions. I mean, you can build them from scratch using separate chords like this. Uh, let's turn that down a bit. And then just kind of build them like this. Nice or you can use some of the pre-recorded progressions, which is what I'm gonna start with. So let's look at the advanced progressions. I like advanced progressions because they tend to just be more interesting. Nice. So let's loop that and we're gonna switch it up a bit at the end. I'm just gonna grab a couple. Oh. Yes, acceptable for the heart. I'm gonna steal those last two, actually that, that, that's just too nice. Those two are too nice. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna paste a little bit of it there. Take that one and paste a little bit of that there. And because they're all organized into the correct keys, they're all gonna to work together. So let's have a listen to our chord progression. It's gonna loop round and then change the second time. So nice. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is just stick some beats in there so I've got something to work towards. So I'll use a couple of, let's see, we've got top drums here, a couple of pre-made loops. Cool, so we'll loop that. And then the full beat's gonna come in with the kick. Cool, okay, so I've got my sidechain channel here. Let's get some interest into this. So I'm gonna change these into some stabs. And the way that you can do that is, let's say we'll keep the first ones not stabs, and then these second ones, we're just gonna make a little chord rhythm out of them. And then we're gonna be layering this up, adding some drums, adding some melodies, um, all starting out from this kind of chord progression inspiration. So let's just, let's just make a cool little, syncopated rhythm. So that's the rhythm we're gonna use. Um, and it's gonna give it that epic kind of hands in the air moment. So let's just duplicate that. I might fast forward this bit actually. Cool, so now let's layer that up. We want to make this really nice big stabs. So we've got this source synth stab, which is fine, but let's get something a bit pluckier and a bit higher up. So what I'm gonna do for this is use the uh, wavetable and just have a listen to some of the presets as they play. Let's open that up, go for plucked.
Okay, what I'm going to do is actually grab them all and then shift it up an octave, holding shift and up. Yeah. And now you've got this really epic chord progression. Hands in the air. Okay, because I know this is an A minor, I can actually jam out a, a riff. So let's just get a really simple sound. Uh, again, I'm going to get the... Uh, what's it called? Operator. Doing it easier than that. And I'm just going to play a riff. And because it's A minor, it's just a white note, so it's really easy. Uh, we'll choose a different wave. Let's use a saw. Okay, so we can get back to that later. Anyway, we've got just a bit of an idea. So the next thing I'm going to do is group these together, I'll call them stabs, and I'm going to add a side chain compressor. So just whack that on, and we can change up the uh, chord progression really simply as well uh, with the MIDI pack. So we'll try this in a second too. But let's just say our idea is to start with this um, kind of, and now we've got the pumping effect. Maybe too much pump. I want to change that last uh, chord progression, that last note, so I'll go back to the unison MIDI pack. Staying in the key of A, C major or A minor, just to make things easier. Let's have a listen. That sounds quite epic, actually. I think, uh, um, well, where is it? I think I'll change the last chord to that. No, I'm going to change it to something else. Let's put it, let's try this one. Ooh, that's cool. That's like jazzy. Yes, absolutely yes. Now let's get the bass going. So the beauty of this is, let's consolidate that, consolidate that, consolidate that like it's a fact. Uh, right, cool. So what we can do is now grab the lowest notes and this is gonna serve for our bass line. So you just grab the lowest notes of each of the chords. Uh, whoops, missed those ones. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm holding shift to do this. Cool. Copy. Let's create a bass MIDI clip. Like so. Copy and paste it. And now this is going to be our bass line. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to stick a uh, an analog on there. 
Actually, no, let's keep it even simpler. We'll stick an operator on, on, on there. So this is our baseline. Uh, let's drop it an octave. Grab them all, Command A, Shift down. So it's now sub bass. Bit more release. Make sure that we've got voices one because we don't want more than one bass note playing. And we'll keep that one down low. No, that's a bit too low. So check it out. I'm going to move this up an octave, the second one up, actually, so, to make it sound epica. Do, 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 do. And we are going to do a little bit of fun. Do, do, do. Just doing a little run up to the A, just to add some interest. So it goes. And we can just copy and paste that uh, as well. And this is all just based off the chord progression. Just copied and pasted it. So with the stabs. So let me know what you think. If you're digging it so far, give me a hell yeah or an amen brother in the comments below, because you know I love that shiz. Um, without further ado, let's continue. Drop that comment below. Back into the track now. But I'm going to keep that rhythm going as well. Uh, let's. So instead of having that sustain note, we're going to have um, the same rhythm, like so. And we just need to do that without chords as well. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's do that. And now what we can do is if we want the um, Sorry, I got carried away there. Absolutely just grooving it. So let's um, do a clap build as well. I'm just kind of riffing this completely from scratch um, by starting with the unison pack. Um, and we're just going to see where it takes us. So clap build. Right, I'm going to use my, uh, let's see, my audio effects rack. We are going to use my Will's transition effects, just to really bleed those stabs out before the drop. Take out the bass, add some reverb. Okay, okay. Right, we're getting some vocals in there. Stat, Vox. Uh, it's easy because uh, because Unison has told us what key the progression is in. Uh, we know it's in an A. Oh, A minor, A minor, easy. But I've got one up there, but you could just put vocals. This is splice I'm using here. A minor, and then anything that pops up, let's put female we know it's going to sound good with the track. Let's just have a quick listen to some random ones. And get a vibe going. Nice. Yeah, so that's the one that um, was already in my library, so I know I like it. So let's just drag that one in and 
uh, let's see, uh, 130, but our tempo is 126. So I'm just going to make sure that it's warped, warped, warp it to complex pro because that's best uh, algorithm for vocals. So it's warped correctly. So this is now going to be in time with our track. Oh, that's a bit loud though. Okay, I want her to introduce the singing to come in on the drop. So like this. That's going to be epic. We're going to do some work on that for sure. Ah, oh, I might have to change some of the stab sounds, but I'm getting the feels. When I get the feels, that's a good sign. So uh, let us, we will do something with that riff. We're going to do an Avicii style riff in a little while. Um, what we're going to do though, and that's another cool thing that makes this MIDI pack awesome, is that you can kind of switch things around a bit to make a different um, progression for a different part of the song. So I'm just going to copy this bit and and consolidate it. Let's see. Is that going to play? So this is going to be the um, the kind of break chord progression. And all I've done is just grab some random bits of that initial chord progression and switch them around just to create some interest. Um, but we could leave the last chord being that cool one that kind of throws things off a bit. Uh, let's just copy and paste that to the other instrument. And now if we put the vocals on there, that's also going to work as well. Uh, almost close, but no cigar. I'm just going to prolong that note one little bit just by grabbing. I just think it needs that. Uh, let's try again. Duplicate that. And we're going to copy this down to the other instrument again. So this is our kind of break section. Yes. Okay, let's get some big drums in there. We want some kind of smashing Swedish house mafia type um, cymbal hit to make that big. So we'll go to drum hits. We will go to splash cymbals. Uh, let's see. Probably just this one, and we're going to just loop that first bit, though. Because we want it repeating. This is like to give it a massive epic feel. Just put a little bit of fade on there. And I'm just going to take out some of the low end because it's a bit messy there. And then uh, the rest of the drums come in. So let's find some suitable drums. 
Uh, let's get this girl singing again. Love your voice. Don't know your name. Nice voice, though. Oh, her name's VHM underscore 130. Catchy. I like it. Bit harsh somewhere. Okay, now we are going to add the other drums. If I'm shouting, it's because I've got it pumped up too loud because I'm loving it. Uh, okay, so let's just get a little drum loop in there. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, let's, let's make our own drums. I know you like it when I make it, when we make our own drums. So let's just select a suitable snare sound. Go drum hits. Uh, don't forget, you can get 60% off that Unison MIDI pack if you use the special link below this video. It is a really good way to, well, start ideas, really, like this. Let's try that one, quite smack in the facey. Bit of room reverb. Actually, we don't want to do that with the room reverb. We're going to open up this and make sure it's rooted um, like this so we can add it to the separate drum within drum rack. And we definitely need some kind of big vocal sounds. So this is a cool trick I will show you. I'm going to duplicate it and then on the drop we're going to have the same vocal dropped an octave and it's going to add weight so this is what it sounds like i take the weight on my shoulders as the sky come down on me. So it sounds a bit weird a bit kind of deep housey but let's just bring it in very quietly underneath the main vocal it's going to give it weight <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, did it's minus 13 by mistake. Taxi. And what we're gonna do as well is spread this out big time wide. So let's make sure the low end is taken out. The way I'm going to spread this out is I'm going to actually use the um, Ozone Imager 2, which is free, and that's going to spread it out nicely. So this is the vocal first, and then with our new one. I take the weight on my shoulders, I should feel the sky come down on me. So you can hear it's really wide now. So that vocal's already got uh, reverb baked into it, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to add some uh, delay to that on a reverb channel, sorry, on an auxiliary channel. So let's get the echo thing, because that's really cool. Holding much longer be free let's put I take the weight on my shoulders I should be the sky come down on me and I can hold it much longer take up the low end of the delay signal so I can be free and that's our vocal I take the weight on my shoulders I should be the sky come down on me so there we have it okay now let's um let's get the kind of groove going. So what I'm going to do, I will go for a drum loop actually. Uh, I will just... I'm going to have a listen as it's playing to find one that just has the right kind of frequencies that are being hit.
you know, it can take a while to do this, which is why it's good to have a lot of samples that you can go through. I just want... Yeah, that one's cool. I'm just going to use the first part of it, though. The, and I'm just going to loop that first part of it. Let's have a listen. Yeah, it's probably not exactly right, and I would spend more time uh, choosing it, but time is of the essence. Um, yeah, that's that's not right. Let's try some other ones. Just something really simple. This will do. Okay. That's kind of big room. But it's all about spending the time to get those sounds. Cool. So if this is our build up. So what we're going to do is just choose a better, some better sounds for this stab because we need another layer in there definitely to make it really huge. I'm just going to group the vocals together, turn them off. I, I really like having the saw waves. Let's stop them from fighting with the bass. I do like that other sound, but now let's add something a bit pluckier, I think. So we can actually make this pluck from scratch. Let's do that and we will do it. Yeah, we can do it with the analog. So. I'm just doing this with the um, filter envelope. kind of Jack London sound there. We're going to make this high up there. Add some noise. Add some unison. See how every layer adds. 
adds to the sound. Okay, so I'm going to do more work on this. Um, and let me actually look, let's see what else I've got here in my list. Yeah, I mean, this is a good beginning idea. Definitely do something with this. Probably add a, a little bit of... Probably add a little bit of uh, sidechain pump on the vocals, on the drop. Could even have some claps on there as well. I'm going to spend a bit more time selecting the right sound, but that is uh, coming up with a big room house idea, starting off with the unison chord MIDI pack. Um, really easy, really quick to use. I'll show you how quickly you can switch out the idea. So let's say we're like, oh, okay, I like the vocals, but I don't really like the um, chord progression so much. Uh, let's see what else we can do. So let's turn off the layers. And then we are just going to drag in completely fresh um, chord progression from the unison MIDI pack. So let's try that. And it gives it a completely different vibe to the track. Now it's like a deep house, apart from the rest of the treatment. Although, if we switch it to blimming 122 BPM, less reverb on the vocals, less delay on the vocals. Take the um, filter down on the chords and suddenly you've got some wicked deep house track. And say so you want to throw something up completely fresh and different. Um, again, we'll start with the progressions. Uh, let's, I don't even know what key this is in. E flat major. Or, well, it's going to be C minor because I've chosen this, the minor progressions. So let's whack that on. We're going to have to change the vocals to be in C minor. Um, so the way that we can do that really quickly. In fact, let's make the second one different. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, so the sec so for the vocals to make them in C minor instead of A minor is just how many semitones between um, A and C. Well, that's A. Semitones one, two, three, up to C. So all you can do is go transpose three semitones on the vocals. Hello, what's your name? I think it's Disclosure. So you can see how quick it is to jam out ideas. Anyway, guys, you can download the track. I'm going to do a bit more work on it, get the sounds right. You can download it for free, including all the project files. You can also grab the Unison Chord MIDI pack uh, for 60% off with the link below this video, so do that. Oh no, before I go, I said I was gonna show you something with the uh, kind of Avicii style synth. So let's do that quickly. We've got the synth sound. It's just a really simple saw wave with some reverb. It doesn't sound great, but remember the original track we were working on is in A minor. So that is what we're gonna write this in. So we can come up with some kind of melody that works in A minor. 
and it's going to work on any of that chord progression that we put in. So it's just using the white notes. I quite like that. So let's turn off the vocal for a sec. That's the vocal group. And you could play this in, but I'm going to program it in because um, if you can't play it in, I'll show you how you can program it in. So I'm just dry, drawing in all the white notes from A up to A, and then we've got the key of A minor natural. And remember, we, we got that from the chord progression that we selected because the chord progression was in A minor. So I'm just duplicating it up and down so I can press fold. Remember in Ableton 11, you can check the video out there of the um, sneak preview. You don't need to do this. They do ha actually have the templates already in. So anyway, let's move those to the side. And then let's just draw in the rhythm first. This is the same rhythm as um, Levels by Avicii, the actual rhythm of the um, melody anyway. Like really simple. But now, because we've got this template, we can just move the notes up and down to make the um, to make the melody that we want. We could actually we could do the uh, levels riff. It should work because I'm only using the white notes, and this is an A minor. Let's try it. So you can write melodies really quickly, like... I think it's that. It's a long time since I've listened to it. Uh, so let's make that bigger. So say your break was to do something like this, where you bring everything down basically. Just having fun now. There you have it guys, um, coming up with the chord progression using the unison chord midi pack, mucking around, having some fun, then creating a big kind of Avicii style melody using the template 
dictated to by the chords progression that I chose. So I could see that it was in A minor, that means I could use my template technique and just muck around and just have some fun really. Hope you've enjoyed it once again. Thanks for watching, cheers and happy producing. Yeah.